Ah, uh, welcome. So I'm just going to show you how to make luminosity masks from Photoshop. Now, a couple of videos ago, uh, I showed you how to get the free panel from uh, Tony Kuiper's site. This one here. And so what I'm going to show you is how these were made. So there are people out there that are selling what I'm about to show you um, as an action. But I'm going to show you actually how to make these masks so you don't have to um, buy them. But better still, just grab this from Tony Kuiper's website. It's free and you can make these masks very quickly from the site and then attach them to an adjustment layer so you can edit it. But those people who want to know how they're made or that you're just happy not to use a plugin, you just want to every time you bring an image in, uh, you're happy just to um, make an action and hit a key keyboard binding and that will load all those luminosity masks up in your channels panel and then you can just choose what you like so basically how these are made is on your um, channels panel which is down here and if you can't see the channels panel you can come up to like your windows and make sure that's selected and this is how I work in Photoshop um, and I've saved this and I can just reset that time anytime if these panels have come out or sometimes I work with the panels out I just want to tidy my panels out I've made I've, uh, I've uh, I can just reset that so how to make these as I said they're very simple so we're going to make the lights uh, luminosity mask first all you have to do is on your keyboard hit the sh hold the sh uh, control sh key down and you can see a little uh, hand with the box with these marching ants so you know that you've hit the right key and just click on the, uh, the the RGB channel and you can see all these marching ants have come up and so it's just telling me that it's selecting the brightest pixels to about I don't know, 50% so the brightest to about 50% now we want to save that as a channel so we come down here and that's your lights one okay very very simple now I would just um, you could put lights one on there or I'll just put L1 just for time and why we have still got the selection active on this uh, channel we can just refine that by hitting three keys and holding them down so it would be the shift control and alt key and then clicking on the mask and then saving that and that will refine that mask even further so you're down to what your brightest pixels to about 25% and then we continue with that. We hold the Shift, Control, Alt, click. So I'll just make sure I've done that again. So I'll just go Shift, Control, Alt, and click on the mask and save it. And that's further refined. So we're now we're down from the brightest pixels to about 12.2 of the brightest pixels. So we'll just do some tidying up. So that'll be L2 and L3. Okay, we'll make sure that's active and we've got the selection active so we can further refine this mask by those three keys shift alt control hold it down click on it and save it as a mask and there we're back down to four so that would be from your brightest pixels down to 6.25 percent of those brightest pixels let's change that to lights uh, four and let's and you can confirm further go down and make those lights what we're going to do now is we're going to make our dark so let's come back up to the RGB channel now we, we need to deselect these uh, ants or marching ants so we go control D control Delta and we are just going to go back and like we did before and just make a lights one mask or lights one selection so control and click on the uh, RGB so there is our lights one but what we're going to do now is we're going to invert the selection so if you've got a sh keyboard shortcut I think it's shift control I or we come up to here go uh, select and inverse and that's it so what we're going to do we're going to save that as a channel and there we have we'll name it D1 so that's our darks one so that's the opposite so what we got here is from the darkest pixels to 50% of those darkest pixels 
and all we have to do now is come in like we did before with those three keys shift control and alt and save it so make sure you have the um the right one so shift control alt click the mask save it so we've got that so once again shift control alt click the mask save it and we will stop there so this one here should be i just noticed should be four that's our light so we've got d1 for darks <coughs> uh, d2 and d3 so that'll do um look we'll do one more because i've got four so what we can do is just um well we've got an active selection mask is selected Control shift alt click the mask and save it I'll just click on there and D4. So that D4 is showing me um, that we've got the, the darkest pixels in the image down to six and I think 6.25%. And we'll click on that. Right, so we're going to make a couple of um, mid tone masks. So what we're going to do, we're going to deactivate. So we're going to click on the RGB, just Control D to deselect. And we're going to make a mid-tone mask so what we're going to do is we're going to set uh click uh the select all image so in photoshop that would be the control a so we're selecting all the image okay and then we're going to hit two keys so what we're going to do is hit the control and the alt key okay and hold those down why are they down we've got to make a intersection between two masks so we're going to intersect the lights and the darks one what we're going to do with those two keys held down we're going to hit click lights one and we're going to come down and click darks one and this will pop up don't worry about it. just close it down and save that and now we've just made a mid-tones mask so as it says it's a mid-tone mask so what it does it actually starts protecting the highlights and it protects the the darker areas of the sh of the image and I'll make one in a few minutes and you'll see that on maybe a levels adjustment so what we can do now is I just do that the same I do that again so I want to deselect so control D so I haven't got a selection I go control A so it's all selected and then I come down with those two keys control alt I hold them down and now I go to a lights two, click come down to a darks two, click and then save that as an alpha 2 channel or a, so I'll name this midis or mid 1 and m2 and I would probably go down and make a mid 3 as well okay so that so control D and let's go back to RGB so that is all your lights 1 to 4 and darks 1 to 4 and two midtone masks you can further um, you can make those. I think Tony Kuiper's. Let's go to paid. Yeah, he goes up to six, one to six, and one to six for the darks, and he has three midtone masks. So, what we can do is this is just about. I think yeah, this is finished editing this one here. So, what we can do, you can come along and just click on these masks to see what you want to edit on, or what adjustment do you want made to these images. So we could say, look, maybe I want to tone these highlights down even further. So what we can do is on that mask, control, hold it. You can see that and click on it. And then we can output that as an adjustment layer. So whenever adjust, you could do brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure. Look, you can even go to your vibrance, any hue and saturation. So let's go to our levels. And that mask is on. I oh, know it would be. So what I'm going to do is just come off here and just click off that eye, and that mask would go away. Not too sure because my masks is off. Oh, quick mask is off. So anyway, we can see that adjustment is now that levels adjustment is now adjusting, going to be adjusted through that mask. But only the brightest tone <clears throat> has got a beautiful feather to it so these black parts of the image <clears throat> or these darker images won't be adjusted so you've got the hips brightest and feathered out until nothing that's the beauty of luminosity mask so let's uh, double click that and we can come in and adjust that 
but it's only adjusting those um, brighter tones and feathered through. It's not adjusting these darker tones at all. So I'll just delete that. And you could come down to your darks. So your darks one, darks two, darks three. So this is showing me if I put this out to an adjustment and make an, a, a brightness adjustment, it's not going to brighten the highlights any further because they're protected. The black in the area is protecting those um, brighter areas. And I could even refine that even further. So we could bump up the, you know, the contrast on this if we wanted. We could output this, say, select it, control, click, come up and maybe a brightness contrast adjustment. Just click that eye off. And we could brighten that image through that mask but it's not brightening the sky we could add contrast through that mask you could take brightness out so you want to delete it yep so that is how you can uh, make your own luminosity mask save some money as I said once you become competent in making them just make an action, just set up maybe a folder and then um, name it, uh, I'll probably just name it like luminosity masks, you know, like you come in here, LM, I don't know, LM there, um, and then I just start, click yes, and then I'd probably name the action luminosity masks, I'd do a function key, choose a key, so once these actions are made, you just hit the, say you chose the F8, you hit the F8 key, and all these actions will be made on that image, and then just come up to record, so if then you start making those images till you're finished, once you're finished, you hit the stop key and then those luminosity, uh, all, all those key bindings will be under here. So I think I've made like just a black border, so black border, and that's all my keys, that what I've done. So that's how you make an action. So hopefully that just shows you how luminosity masks are made in the background. And uh, these are these here. And the midtones, as I said before, and uh, these are the same. So hopefully it helps somebody, and adding these to your images will refine those adjustments into the areas that you like. So thanks for watching.